Good evening, good morning, everybody. My name is Savane, and I welcome all of you to our uh, Accelerating Digital Transformation through Cloud LinkedIn series. Uh, this is a five-part series, and uh, this is our second in our five-part series. We had one earlier where we talked about our solutions in um, uh, or what, what is a business network cloud. Uh, today, we're going to be covering content services and what is the content services cloud and the value that it can provide to you and how does it help you in accelerating digital transformation. Um, before I kick that off, I probably want to start with um, a, uh, a view of how um, open text sees uh, accelerating tra this digital transformation. And you know, before I even go there, let me just start off by saying uh, maybe some of you don't know about open text and um, and are not familiar with what we do. So let me just give maybe a 30 second introduction on the company and then we'll go into the details of the solutions. OpenText is one of the largest cloud, uh, cloud companies in the world. We serve over 75,000 plus cloud customers today. And these are the largest of the largest uh, companies in retail, in uh, FSI, in transportation, in um, uh, financial services and others. Um, we, currently have our own cloud. We are, are run and operate our own cloud, uh, which is uh, uh, significant global presence, um, over 37 data centers with uh, billions of transactions and trillions of commerce that is transacted over the cloud. In addition to that, we also partner with some of the largest uh, public cloud uh, companies in the world, AWS, UCP, and Microsoft Azure. And that's how we enable our solutions for, uh, for you. Um, what, what we wanted to cover here today is um, uh, what we think of as content services cloud. We view solutions in five different categories. Uh, one is what we call content services cloud. Second is business networks cloud. Third is security and protection cloud. Fourth is experience cloud. And then fifth is a developer cloud. And if you combine all of them together, uh, the one kind of common thread that cuts across all of them is the data and the content that gets generated through the solutions in these clouds, which we can then apply a fair amount of AI and machine learning on to try to provide you insights. So, um, you know, especially right now with COVID, one of the key challenges is how can you continue to accelerate your transformation? What are some of the use cases? That's what we'll cover today. Um, and I'm excited to welcome Nick King, uh, to this conversation. It's a, going to be a QA. and a It's going to be an engaged Q&A conversation that we have. Nick is one of our leaders in the content services product team. And um, I, um, I'll welcome Nick and then we'll walk through a few question and answers. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the LinkedIn session over there. We'll follow up with you on, on those comments. So Nick, welcome. Thanks, have a So uh, Nick, let's just maybe start at the highest level. Um, what are, when we say content services, what does that mean? So content services are really the, the tools and technologies that you'd use in your business to manage all of the information that, that you have, you know, the, the stuff that you use to run your business day to day and the stuff that you use to interact with your customers and your suppliers, anywhere that you have information, really. Got it. So um would you think of this as like any information that is being transacted in a, in a company whether it's an enterprise or a small business uh, whether it's communications with their vendors with their partners it could be invoices it could be uh, asms or it could be uh, just a simple document for an rfp um, or a product requirements anything which is required for it to be located in a single location which is regulated and compliant with the needs for that industry type, but at the same time, you can collaborate using uh, different solutions with external stakeholders, put that all together and that that forms content services? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, got it. Um, and when we talk about content services in the context of cloud, um, how is that any different? then you know, content services has been around for a while. Uh, there's a lot of different solution types for collaboration. You have um, uh, you know, it's, it's simple tools which allow you to just uh, share a file. Um, but 
what does content services mean in the context of cloud? Well, so content services, typically you, know, you, you say content services, people think of document management, records management, and just, you know, having that in the cloud somewhere, not on premise, you know, which people are doing, moving, you know, that kind of infrastructure uh, into the cloud, into any of their hyper, you know, hyperscalers of choice. Um, but content services for me is is way more than that. It's it's around, you know, the, the services need to capture that information and not, not just capture and store it, but extract the, the important information out of it. It might be a you know a scan passport or you know, proof of address that you, you upload. You know, a customer of yours uploads and you want to be able to identify that it's a proof of address, pick out all the relevant information and feed that into you know the right systems. You know, multi-cloud has become you know prolific now. You know, information isn't always stored in one place. It's often stored in multiple systems. So to capture and being able to distribute through workflow and that kind of thing that information to the right records and the right systems of record is important. Um, collaboration, as you say, is big, you know, especially in the world of <laughs> COVID now, you know, more and more people are working remotely, um, needing to be able to access information. And, you know, we, we found a lot of customers are finding you know, information was either inaccessible once you were working at home, you know, remotely, or, or not secured as you'd like it to be, you know. Yeah. And so, so content services is really it's much bigger than just you know storing information. It's also around how you access it, how you uh, intelligently using machine learning and you know artificial intelligence extract information. Um, yeah, and how you how you collaborate. And collaboration again is is you know things like being able to mark up a document, a contract. You you want to negotiate a contract. You want to mark it up, keep a track, a history, a record. You know of, of what's happened. Um, and then having you know, electronic signatures in that that content. Yep. There's a whole load of stuff that, that that goes with content services. Yeah, fair enough. I think that's exactly right. And in fact, uh, it feels like it can be almost divided into two different layers. One is a system of record. The other is a system of engagement, where you have the system of record being the place where you uh, put all the documents into a location which is visible, compliant, and regulated. And then yep. you have a system of engagement, which can be multiple solutions that allow you to do that in a life sciences industry, in a, in a, um, uh, in a pharma, in a uh, retail, in a financial services based on the kind of regulations that exist in each and one of those spaces. And those could be much nimbler tools and simpler tools yeah. which can allow you to do that and leverage that system of record. Absolutely, yeah, it's a good way of defining it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about, uh, so we talked about COVID for, uh, you mentioned that earlier, course we're still going through the pandemic in fact we're right in the middle of probably another uh uh spike in the cases worldwide uh frankly and um uh it is obviously concerning and one of the things that has happened is the way the work is hap is it has changed dramatically right not just with remote yeah. work where suddenly you know you had people working remotely thousands of employees of the company overnight uh, but also what impact it has on an ongoing basis. So um, maybe talk a little bit about what you're seeing uh, relative to content services and the value that it's creating for uh, a lot of customers, especially uh, because of COVID and the changing work in COVID. Yeah, I think having you know, having content services in the cloud means that you know well it, it means operationally it's much easier because you're not having to to you know be in a data center looking after your own data center, you know your your staff can can not worry about that you know they, they get on with with other things that are more more meaningful, um, and then the other thing is that um, it means that the people that aren't in one location anymore can actually access that content really easily from anywhere. So you know those. Those things where you know things were locked up in in file servers, and you had to maybe be, maybe be behind a VPN connection um, to be able to access it. Suddenly, if your if your content services are in the cloud, it gets much easier to for those staff to access it. Um, it also means that things like scalability suddenly gets much easier. Being able to to scale up, you know, as as the number of people accessing those kind of cloud services increases because they're working remotely, you know. Running in a hyperscaler, you can easily scale up and, and scale down according to that demand. So it's much more resilient uh, running those services. And that's the kind of thing that you know, people are looking for. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that's been interesting with COVID is, is the number of, of new use cases that have opened up for content services. I mean, you, you, know, you mentioned we have you know, a content cloud and we also have a developer cloud. 
I, I think of it as, as the content cloud is really where our you know, customers run that, that kind of system of record platform in the cloud where you know it's got to be robust and secure like you said it's the system of record but then they're turning to to the actual more the, the developer services content services in the cloud for building out new use cases where you know suddenly you know there's new markets new opportunities opened up because uh, of covid or you want to engage you need to engage with customers differently you know uh, in the world of covid and so you want to be able to rapidly spin up new user interfaces new ways of of customers interacting with your service agents, maybe who are now working from home instead of in a in a call center. So there's always opportunities for spinning up new kind of you know new solutions, and those kind of developer services running in the cloud are really where you know I think people are turning to that because you know they're on they're available on demand immediately. There's no delay before you can access them. You can sign up for free trials, um, and and solution providers are really jumping on that bandwagon. We've seen you know building out these new use cases um, in our time of COVID. Yeah, I think that's a good point. In fact, uh, we had uh, one of the largest uh, water companies in Europe uh, join us at OpenText World uh, two or three weeks ago, and uh, their CIO mentioned that they integrated one of these developer services, the signature service, with their internal workflows. Um, and it took them just about a few days to do that, but what it allowed them to do yeah. was now instead of uh, getting any sort of paper signatures by sending mail to to their uh, residents who were uh, users of their water utility and if they were moving places from one to another they're moving homes they don't have to sign anymore on these paper documents and exactly. um, you can just do that through the e-signature uh, service which is integrated into their workflow and it took them a few days to do that and again in normal times uh, you would have probably taken several weeks, months to do something like that. But here, you, know, you have a big water utility which needs to change, and yeah. they did um, using one of these developer services. So, you know, that's, that's a good, good example. So, um, uh, Nick, we we had the Open Text World conference, which is one one of Open Text's largest conferences in the in the year, and uh, we had you know more than ten thousand people that were part of it, and in that we announced some major innovations in the content services area. Um, can you maybe talk about two or three key announcements from there that could be helpful for the audience here? Yeah, so so for me, I think that, you know, it was a really significant you know, chance to, to announce what we've been doing. And as you said, we've got um, you know, two clouds. We have a content cloud and a developer cloud. And content cloud really now means that any of our customers or you know, existing customers who've got those systems of records running in you know, uh, OpenText content server, documents, and any of these large content management platforms can now run those in the cloud, in Google, in, in Azure, as, as you mentioned, you know, anywhere. And, and so they can move that, you know, their existing, you know, business critical infrastructure into the cloud. Um, and, and those are automatically integrated with things like Office 365, and you get integrations with SAP and Salesforce. To, to run your mission critical business in the cloud. So, you know, you're no longer running that, that, that um, you know, estate of, of servers and stuff anymore, you know, really, really significant. Mm -hmm. And then on the on the, the content services kind of developer side, you know, we've we've made a, you know, a 90 day trial people can sign up for. And so, as you mentioned, you know, you can take the signature service, you know, within a few days, have that integrated into a workflow that, that's you know, taking a contract document and getting it signed. So it was really significant for me to be able to, you know, announce that kind of, you know, that that really strong um, enterprise content management cloud. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, sounds great. And um, you know, one of the other things is how AI is integrated. I think uh, that's people talk a lot about AI. It's a buzzword, um, but what does it really truly mean in terms of use cases? And one of the use cases that I thought was very exciting was the notion of intelligent folders, where Absolutely instead of trying to uh, look through all the possible folders that you're um, that you're um, uh, uh, have to kind of almost browse through only the most relevant information based on your role based on your profile based on what you've seen in the past can be surfaced up to you so you can save the time in doing the work that you need to do right so exactly. yeah yeah and that's and that's a really significant thing because it's always been one of the the barriers to kind of good governance around content is is having to file it and, and tag it or you know properly kind of classify it and with intelligent filing and things like that as you say the sort of smart folder stuff you know 
you take away a lot of that burden. It comes back to that idea of, of capturing what's critical, you know, within a document. Um, yeah. I mean, we're seeing, um, you know, huge success around things like GDPR, um, especially in Europe, you know, where people want to, to you know, you get a, a subject access request, you need to find all the information you've got about somebody, you need to be able to, to redact out things that you shouldn't have and, and then send a package out to the person. And, and AI and machine learning comes into that because what well, somebody would have taken days to read through documents and find every occurrence, we now automate that process. Yeah, sounds great. Well, Nick, thank you so much for your time. Um, I know uh, this was uh, just a few minutes. I hope the audience got a chance to get a sense of what content services mean, what content services in the cloud means, how it can enable some of your own digital transformation. And if you have more questions, you can always click on the link inside of LinkedIn over there, which will take you to the Open Text website or give you more, a lot more detail on the solutions that Nick just uh, walked through. And uh, we hope to see you in our next session, which is, uh, which is going to cover another element of the accelerating digital transformation in the cloud. Um, till then, I hope you all have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.